Welcome to a second example of determining the measure of angles based upon the properties of parallel lines. So here we have a diagram with two sets of parallel lines as well as a couple other transversals. We want to determine the measure of angle one through the measure of angle seven. Let's go ahead and label our parallel lines. Let's call this line L and this line M, this line P and this line Q. So taking a look at angle three and the angle here that measures 107 degrees, these two are corresponding angles to line L and line M, and therefore they're congruent. So the measure of angle three would be 107 degrees. Angle two and angle three would be consecutive interior angles, or same side interior angles, which means they're supplementary. So the measure of angle two plus the measure of angle three must equal 180 degrees, which makes the measure of angle two 73 degrees. Now the other angle they gave us was this angle here that measures 122 degrees. So looking at this angle here and this angle here with one hash mark, these would be consecutive interior angles or same side interior angles, again with line L and line M cut by this transversal here. So these two angles are supplementary, so that means this angle here would have to be 58 degrees. Even though we don't have to determine the measure of this angle, notice that this angle is congruent with the measure of angle one. So the measure of angle one is also 58 degrees. Now looking at the parallel lines P and Q, angle one and angle four are alternate interior angles and therefore congruent. So the measure of angle four is also 58 degrees. Now let's take a look at angle six. Angle six and this angle here that measures 107 degrees are alternate exterior angles, where P and Q are the parallel lines and line L would be the transversal. So these two angles are congruent and therefore the measure of angle six is 107 degrees. Looks like we have angle five and angle seven left. Notice that angle five and angle seven would be alternate interior angles where P and Q are the parallel lines and this segment here would be the transversal. So if we can find one of them, we also know the measure of the other. There's a couple ways of doing this. Notice that again, this angle here that measures 107 degrees would form a vertical pair with these two angles, which means that, which means the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle five must equal 107 degrees. And so we already know the measure of angle one is 58 degrees. We can determine the measure of angle five by taking 107 degrees and subtracting out 58 degrees. That's gonna give us 49 degrees for the measure of angle five as well as the measure of angle seven. And that's gonna do it for this example. I hope you found this helpful.